so uh, today i will show you how to modify your to do app and take it to the next level to do this we will be using a pre-existing project from my github i will leave the link down below in the description i will show you how to modify this simple to do app to add notification functionalities as you can see it's a simple react project you can add the items learn to code add to do and then when you take it it will strike um, uh, which will show as completed and uh, you can delete it very simple functionalities um, are really done so uh, what um, i'm planning to do is i will add a notification functionality to it so for example do this is and then you will have another input field here to add the date and time and then when you add to do whenever that time comes uh, you will get a notification saying this is overdue so let's get started so first of all uh, this is the pre-existing code um, you can clone it from my github and then uh, let me show you some of the components that i have made so the first is to do um, it's uh, the single item that you can see here so this is the to do component and then you have a to do form so this is the to do form the top component and then you have a simple um, app which displays the list so to do this first of all um, if you see we will need a input field here to get the date and time so for that we will be using a react library which is called date time so you can npm stall react date time i've already installed it so you go ahead and install it so import date time from react date time and then um, we will also import some css so import react date time slash css Let's react date time dot CSS. So in here we will use that date time that we uh, imported from the React date time library, and we will set the value due date, and then we will take the value that user provides and we will set the due date to value and dot to date so we will save it as a javascript date object so once we are done with all that we will get this input where we get the date and time so we can select date and we can also uh, select and change time from here and then we can add learn to code add but you won't be able to see this time here because we haven't added that to our code um, so we will do this next so after doing that we'll need to do one more thing so when the user submits this to do we'll need to add the due date here and to do is submitted we will set the due date to default value which is uh, empty string so uh, this is done to add the date here um, what we will need to do is uh, we'll need to go to the to do component and then um, so we will be adding the text the date after the text so we will go here we'll create a span and um let's check so 10 0 1 20 once we save it uh yeah so that's where we want the date uh we will make some changes on the design later so so if we just go here and then extract that uh to do dot due date it will throw an error 
so what it basically says is uh, the date that we saved before is an object um, i will show you here so in to do forms uh, when we took the value from the event listener and then we change it to to date which is a javascript date object so uh, we will need to format it uh, uh, we will need to change it to string so to format it we'll just create another const and um, call it a formatted date and then change the due date to a string and then we will use the formatted date in here so instead of to do dot due date we will use the formatted date so in that way it will not throw any error so learn cs that's to 12 and 12 let's add it as you can see learn cs and that's the date so it's working fine um if we want we can change the uh, style now but i'm going to do it later so this is completed and this is also done um, now we need to make changes in our app dot jail we have all the functionalities uh, of adding to do and also setting the time for the to do so uh, now all we need to do is um, work on the notification part of the project so for that i will create another um, state variable which will be called permission this is for um, getting the notification permission from the browser so we will use the use state hook and the default value is default so after this uh, we will use something called use effect which is uh, from the react library uh, it's a type of hook uh, if you want to learn more about uh, use effect you can it's one of the most important topic that everyone needs to know so you should uh, learn this from the react documentation we will do something like this so use effect so first um, if notification dot permission is not granted so if it is not granted then uh, we will do we will uh, request for the permission dot request permissions and then we will take that permission and set it set the permission to whether the permission is granted or not right so once we check if the if we allow so the permission will be granted and if we don't allow the permission will be um, denied um, and then so it's checking whether it is granted or not so if it's already granted then we will just set the permission to notification dot permission so which will be um, granted so now we'll add one more thing in the use effect so here it also takes us a second argument so the this is called a dependency array so what it does it it allows you to control when the effect function runs so if we do if we put an empty array here then it will just run once and if we put uh, something like to do's here then it will run whenever the to do um, state changes okay so after doing all that we will use another use effect i'm just going to paste the code here and then i'll explain it so what we are doing here is for each um, to do in the to do's list we will check if the to do is completed or not and if the to do is not completed we will get the to do's due date and convert it into javascript date object and then and then we will use the get time method of the date to get the due dates time and we will also get the current time and we compare it so if 
the due date's time is less than the correct time uh, meaning that uh, this date has already passed and we will also check if the permission is granted and if it satisfies both of, both of these conditions then we will send the notification and then as i explained uh, before uh, we are using to do and permission in this um, array any changes to to do's or permission this block of code will run okay so after saving all this let's check if everything is working fine okay let's add something here now so clean desk and we will set the time to today and and we will set the date to today and we'll set the time to 6 a.m so add to do and then if we go and check here you can see the task clean days is due so it's working so that's how you can implement a notification functionality to your to-do app uh, there are many other things that we can do with this project uh, maybe in the future i'll show you some cool functionalities that we can add to this project so for now um, that's all thank you